chases and trees. I think it's chases and trees. Chasse, like J.C. Chasse yeah. from uh, Backstreet Boys? Chasse. Chasse. Oh, Chasse's okay. and Trees. Chasse. Oh, we should have named the episodes Chasse Away. That's good. Chasse Away, oh, Chasse good. Away. We have some Crit Roll stats for this episode oh, that come to us from our friends at Crit Roll Stats. At 12 minutes and 10 seconds, this was the longest D&D Beyond ad to date. <laughs> 12 minutes. minutes. Easily. 12 minutes. Easily. Director's cut D&D Beyond ad. <laughs> Holy shit. Are we just like, in a month from now, is the first half of Critical Role gonna be them, you know, the pissing contest between who can make a longer ad? I mean, but listen, what do you do, right? Do you edit the Oscar-worthy performance known as Marisha Ray? Or do you just give her less meat to chew? Because either way, you lose. I think the thing that I stuck out to the script earlier. <clears throat> I could have. Yeah, I feel like the thing that stuck out the most to me was. <laughs> I was trying to throw you. <laughs> I know. I should have. I should have looked at it beforehand. <laughs> the thing that stuck out to me the most was how prepared you were, Marisha, going into it for sure. Mm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, by the way, in regards to that D and D Beyond ad, a farthing. Demonetized in 1960 was the equivalent of one 960th of a pound sterling. Which also nobody knows what that is either. I do. <laughs> do you know what a pound sterling is? Do you know what a pound is, a British pound? Yeah. A sterling British pound. Now Arsqueef can back me up on this. See, we need to have him on like a bat phone for all things mm. British related. Hologram. Mark better. Humes has blocked right. me, I can't call phone him. Friend. Phone a friend, phone an Arsqueef. A sterling pound is the pound that is silver. So they have little gold ones, they have little red ones, they have little pink ones, and they have silver ones. That is a pound sterling. Did you say pink? I did, now a farthing, those were the pink ones. Demonetized in 1960 was the equivalent of one 960th of a pound sterling. I was told there would be no math. This is hurting. So I'm doing the math for you. Lot. All you have to Not do is lot, listen. Right? So you ask if it's one 960th of a, how much is a pound sterling worth? I'm getting The mad. answer I'm is obvious. Right we now. have questions. <laughs> I have things I want to know about this episode, Brian. Not rolled the 300th player natural 20 this episode. Not That's did. Whoa. Not rolled the 300th player natural 20 this episode. Happy 300th. <laughs> this episode marks the first combat encounter Bo has ended with all of her key points still available. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Well, the one that I was like, a little unconscious for, or mm -hmm. unconscious. paralyzed, paralyzed for. Unconscious. and out of range for like most yeah. of it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, True. that seems so circumstantial, but I will take that as. Do your lightning? Compliment. Do your do your lightning things not give you any range? They give me twenty feet reach. Oh, yes, shit. I had. Really? So many people. Oh no! Message I'm sorry. me and say, oh, that's weird. "Don't forget about your gloves." I didn't. They just never came within. So feet. instead of five feet being melee, you got 20? 20 feet, but I have to activate them, and they last for one minute. Oh, okay. Welcome to your hunter's mark. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, boy. Yeah, oh, I boy. only get Must to use remember. it once a day. Uh, I get to use it once a day, yeah, and then like they refresh. Large, just like the Titan Stone. Also. Yeah, so there was, there was no reason for me to activate them, and whenever they did get close enough, I was paralyzed, Unless you and then they were dead. Awesome. That's a good reason. Yeah, I could have just Titan sat there like the front day. of the golden chariot, just lightning in my hands, yeah. just screaming. Yeah. Artists need things to draw. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Don't starve these people. Let's go. The shortage of get on the fucking train. <laughs> That's amazing. I will be sure to blow all my best be abilities. Conservative elsewhere. Just for the art. Fucking later. let's get the light show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Come yeah, on, damn make, it. man. <laughs> Philly's coppers. <laughs> <laughs> Can we take a look at um, Travis's what? My um, legs kilt. What are you wearing there? I'm wearing. I'm are you wearing, wearing the old one of Art Liam O'Brien's sweater. sweaters covering your legs? Do you yeah, know? Yeah, well, I, I wore. Chilly in the studio. I oh, wore shorts. Boy, today. Look at those knees. 
is the sheer whiteness of that is. <laughs> Look at those oh, knees, yeah. though. Right? Turn away. <laughs> yeah, those calves are oh. great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna start oh. seeing something we shouldn't. I. This episode marks the first. Uh, that sweater is for our protection. <laughs> right in front of me, you guys. <laughs> this episode marks more, more, the first time more. more white. <laughs> it's, actually cold, it's actually cold as shit in here. Everyone at home is blinded for 60 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> the next thing you're going to hear in one of your visions is spray tan. <laughs> This is the first time we've heard from Kiri in 40 episodes. Kiri! Or 140 in-game days. That's too long, guys. So Whoa, uh, careful. <laughs> Our winner <laughs> for this week <laughs> was sent in by Stephanie at T and Trials. Nope, at T and Tails. <laughs> at T and Tails, photo by Jay Villanueva. Let's take a look. Nope. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. So good. Little She's Vox so Machina. Wow. Spoilers. This is from Campaign oh. One of Critical Role. Those you antlers are huge too. Yo, those are so amazing. Good. Love them. Mm -hmm. Love that, that tattoo work. And then there's a second Ooh. photo. Ooh. Wow. <gasps> amazing. I love the raven too. I know, it looks like it was the hot there. Touch. It does. It's a hot day. It's humid. <laughs> yeah, I bet that grass was itchy as F. <laughs> this picture was taken seconds before a herd of swine chased them off the property. <laughs> wild, <clears throat> wild, wild boar. Wild boar. Congrats to you, Stephanie. Marisha. Nope. Marisha. That doesn't even make sense with like, the context of cards. The only thing that could save us now is Fan Art of the Week. Fan Art of the Week! Fan Art of the Week! Of the week! Our time! Calm. Oh no. I'm sorry. You got the game? So yeah, the, the quiet go. chest God. quake. Here we go. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go, do the thing. Art do the, do the fucking show. This week's fan art winner for Campaign 2, episode 65, was sent in by Anselina at underscore strawberry fox underscore. Let's take a look. Yo! Ooh, so oh, that's good. so cool. Wow. Speaking of. Oh. I love Dude, that's got some strong cues. I was wow. thinking the same thing. I love it. Look at I Ford's am neither confirming what? nor denying Keyleth's future. Shit. <laughs> is, that, is, that a, is, that a, is that what she looks like? That is gorgeous. The so one mother? Yeah. Well, she's a god. It's interpretive. Sure. It's one. Sure. It's. Damn. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, just, uh, just his head in her lap, and it's just so comforting. Oh. All this are off tonight, folks. We're just kind of doing whatever the fuck we want. Max, you got an elephant you want to bring in? Huh? Anybody's cousin want to get a shout out? Do you have a baby elephant, Max? That's Do you have so a baby elephant for you. us? Sure. That was Banksy. Sure. He says, sure. I want to wrestle puppet. a baby elephant. You see Thanks to everyone. Can I give away some free shit, please? <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> Thanks to everyone who submitted. 